What's up, everyone? I'm your female otaku, and I'm here to review episode three of Boku no Hiro Academia. And of course, every superhero story needs that training montage, am I right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be a superhero story, man. So I really like that you had the classic montage with Izuku training, and we find out that All Might's power is inherited. So because his power is inherited, does that mean he was born quirkless or has he had a quirk but he just, it wasn't just that powerful or something like that? I wonder, you know, what, what would happen if Izuku inherited all of All Might's power? What would All Might become? Hmm, interesting. I wonder if that'll ever be discussed. I'm not gonna lie. When I first heard that All Might was going to have Izuku become his successor, I was all like, oh. The reason why I was like that and was a little bit disappointed is because I thought this was going to be a story about Izuku becoming the greatest hero without a quirk, relating to the viewer, saying that you could still be a hero even without superpowers. But then All Might followed up that statement by saying, you still have to think realistically, this is reality, you need to have a quirk, okay? The spirit is and heart is just the beginning. So we know that you have the drive, but now you honestly need the physical power. So it makes sense. I'm just a little upset that it has to be like that. But hey, this is the truth of reality, I suppose. The soundtrack during the training montage Ooh, that was good. I really, really liked that, okay? And we see that Izuku was training even more than what he was supposed to. Even though the training regimen was so incredibly tough, Izuku still went that extra mile to clean up more stuff from the beach. And that was really cool to see. And I'm very proud of Izuku. And you even see, like, his physical body change as well. So that's great for Izuku. I'm so proud of him. And now he's gonna try to pass the entrance exams for UA. And by the way, the comedy there. The comedy when the instructor guy was, you know, talking about the entrance exams, that guy. That was so funny because like, he was just like, hey, expecting the audience to say hey back. But they were dead silent. And I'm just like, that's so real. That's how my high school is. Okay, when a teacher tries to get the crowd pumped and stuff like, are you ready? Like, we're all dead silent. We're just all like, get to the point, man. Like, <laughs> that was great. I loved it. That was just too real. So Bakugo has been leaving Izuku alone all these months. It's very interesting. This has really affected Bakugo. I guess at that moment, he realized that he wasn't as powerful as he thought and that he still has ways to go before he can become the greatest hero. And having Izuku save him a little bit in some way probably embarrasses him a little. Like, I really like Bakugo's character. He's very interesting and there's so much more to him than what we see. And I cannot wait till we have a whole episode or two dedicated to Bakugo. But for right now, let's just get into the exams. Oh boy, so Izuku, he ate a piece of hair from All Might. So Izuku's supposed to have a little bit of his powers right now. But Izuku doesn't know how much he has and hasn't tested it out or anything. Heck, how is he gonna let it, the powers come out? I don't know. Does the All Might power work differently? For everyone because All Might said that this power was inherited so I really hope we get to learn about the person who inherited who like passed down the one for all power to the current All Might I, I really hope we get to learn about that because again I wonder if the person has to be quirkless or just has to have like spirit and then their original quirk doesn't really matter in the long run so I don't know. But anyway, this episode was really enjoyable. As always, I feel like a little kid, especially with the message and stuff going on. Like, ah, so this should be interesting. Let's hope Izuku has a little bit of power and knows how to use it as well. Catch me later as I review ReZero. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.